Dr. Ito. Wonderful. Another few days collecting data, and we'll have the cure for cancer. Something's showing up on the radar. Looks like it's right outside the ship. Viewing screen. Here. You know, you anti-gravity geeks are due for a little safety investigation. Well, uh, let me be the first to welcome you aboard. Thank you, son. That's a nice mustache you got there. Had one like it myself. Then one day I put my cigar in backwards and boom! My lamp went up like a tinderbox. But I don't smoke. None of us do. And I'm sure you will find that our ship is the safest outpost in the galaxy. That's what they said when I inspected the Titanic. But I shot them different. Unsinkable, my good eye. Uh-oh. What's going on over here, Princess Leia? It is a refrigeration experiment. We're freezing these produce with liquid nitrogen. Well, that's fine and dandy. But remember, in space, no one can hear you scream. Let me show you something. Let's just say you're getting ready to freeze some veggies. And you mistake your hand for a stock of celery. Oh, God. Then you go to hang your autographed picture of Chewbacca. And the next thing you know... The Iceman Comet! <laughs> Gee, that demonstration left me a little parched. Jar contains aliens. <laughs> so that's how they're getting over the border. Hey, you! Come on out and show me your green card. Oh my God! One of them is missing. Hmm. I wonder where it could be. Are you joking? I've had more parasites living off me than Eddie Murphy. <laughs> alert, alert! There's an alien roaming free on board! Speaking of roaming free, how come these seats don't have safety belts? We don't need them. This ship is perfectly safe. I beg to differ, Buck Rogers. What if one of your fellow astronauts is a frustrated soprano? He's in the shower, he breaks into a high note from Figaro, We've learned a valuable lesson. Buckle up for safety! <laughs> well, where in my bridge work? Is that a self-destruct sequencer? When was the last time you had that baby tested? Please don't touch that. You know, a gadget like that can be handy, but it can also lead to a very unpleasant... <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Let's just say you're sleepwalking one night. And your dream when Darth Vader just told you he's your father. Naturally, you're completely suicidal, and you program the computer to start the final countdown. Like so. Oh. The station will self-destruct in 20 seconds. Eight, you idiot! Everyone, into the shuttle! Please remain calm. 15. He is a fire marshal. Thank you, Hal. 15. You see, Hal knows that all I have to do is use the main computer override key. Now, if I can only remember which one it is. <laughs> Not that one. Wrong again. Oh, yeah. This is it. One. A lifetime of work. Gone. Oh, God. They can put a man on the moon 
but they can't protect us from ourselves. Oh. Dale's got down the sun on my face. Of course, I'd rather have my face on the sun. Hey! 